I am going to ask ChatGPT to solve this small IQ test. Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam. Let's see if the latest model of ChatGPT which is 4O can able to see the picture and able to resolve the answer of the question. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here let me actually use snipping tool to see if ChatGPT can provide feed to ChatGPT. There we go. Here, I believe ChatGPT was able to understand the question. And then here we can see to solve this question, let's analyze the pattern of matrix, which means that ChatGPT smartly detected that I am looking for solution. So here we can see the explanation of first column, which has a single line in each box. Then second column has two lines in each box. This means that ChatGPT is confused in between rows and columns. So let me actually help ChatGPT out by mentioning that these are the rows, this direction. And then I'm going to also mark these options as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now let me again give this data back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna say now check again and give me the correct number as answer. Okay, now let's have a look. Okay, so it seems that the correct answer based on ChatGPT is 6. So I'm gonna lock this 6 one. Now the next question here, we have got this following, which is a build with analytical shapes. Here we can see we have got bunch of squares, pentagon, circle. Now let me again write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And let's again, I'm going to give to chat GPT. And let's see, it can also solve this one. And not to worry guys, we're going to see the answers in the end of 8th question. So here it says that the correct answer needs to be 2, which I am not sure. Now let's copy this third question. And this time, seems like lines are moving. Again, let me give him option 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And let's have a look what is correct answer. Okay, seems like six is the correct answer for this one based on chat GPT. So let's have a look. Now we have got fourth question. Now again, I'm gonna mark one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. Now let me again give it to ChatGPT. Okay, seems like it says that the correct answer is two, which to me I am in high doubt. Let's see. Now we have got the following as the next question. Let me copy this, paste it here. Okay, so again, here it says that the correct answer is two. I am very doubtful guys, if it is actually giving us correct answer or not. Now this is sixth. Let me mark one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the good thing about ChatGPT is it gives proper explanation. Okay, so here it says that the three is correct answer. I'm gonna simply going to, you know, click on these answers. Now, here we have got this seventh question. Okay, now let me give this to ChatGPT. And then we're going to have our last question. 
answer it is the correct answer based on chat gpt now moving to our last question which is the following okay so correct answer is five and let me actually select mail chat gpt is is 13 for example and then from us high school test result and there we go here we can see the chat gpt iq score lies between 79 to 95 and let me actually give this result to chat gpt what does this say i'm gonna ask chat gpt is it a good score or bad okay so seems like in terms of screenshot of problem chat gpt was not able to score average or high average as we can see here the range start from 79 to 95 this means that chat gpt in case of vision is still not competent enough However, in case of explanation, I think ChatGPT did great job because if I'm going to give the same question to Google, to Gemini, let's see if the Gemini can answer it correctly. So if I see the problem here, the answer needs to be the following, which is eight. And let's see um, if, and here we go. Here we can see the chat GPT was not able to solve this question at all. And actually, let me open this with Gemini Advanced. Let's see if Advanced can solve this. And at the same time, I'm going to also ask Claude. And currently, unfortunately, I'm using the free version. So let me actually ask the same question with two free version of Claude. And there we go. Claude was able to guess the correct answer. And I also think so. Claude detected it in the correct way. Now let me give second question cloud and let's see option is three now i'm gonna give and so it is pretty fast guys even faster than 4o cloud also provide proper explanation now let me type here too And it says three. Now again, three. Seems like I have exhausted the pre limit. Let me actually change my ID. And now let me again paste so option five is correct answer Now this seems the last question for Claude. And let's see. Okay, seems like seven. Okay, now let's click on test result. Time now came to see the IQ of Claude. And seems like Claude performs slightly better than GPT-4O. 
and that too also simulate to real world situation because a lot of time i have seen cloud a is coming up with correct result correct logic when compared to gpt4 oh to conclude this test and how capable ai is in reading the picture and providing proper reasoning cloud a was able to score maximum number followed by gpt4 oh However, this thing is worth noting that I am using free version of Cloud Air, which is Cloud Air Sonnet. I have not tried this with Optus. And another good thing about Cloud Air is that whenever you're going to ask Cloud Air anything, the result will be more like a human when compared to ChatGPT. I hope guys you find this comparison helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic. Do share your feedback. Which AI model you like most? Is it Cloud A, Gemini or ChatGPT? And comment down below. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.